This is ABC 7 News at 11, your Suncoast News. We are here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Even though nearly every person who came to speak at City Hall spoke on parking meters against that idea, Sarasota City Commissioners voted to take the next step toward bringing back those paid parking meter meters to the downtown area. ABC 7's Ray Collins was at the meeting and joins us now with that story tonight. Ray. Haley, despite the backlash today and also four years ago, the city took a step toward bringing meters back to downtown Sarasota. It's just outrageous. Outrageous. Emotions ran high at Sarasota City Hall where commissioners asked for public comment on parking meters, which was nearly unanimous against, then voted in favor. I would not encourage my mother or grandmother to come downtown and pull out her wallet to feed a meter in front of the vacancy situation that's going on downtown. This downtown retailer was among more than a dozen who made their feelings clear against meters. Please, listen to your constituents. Don't buy into this fiasco. But commissioners didn't listen to those who were there and voted four to one to take the next step, which is checking out various options for parking meters. Than I do. We asked Commissioner Suzanne Atwell why she voted for meters while nearly everyone who spoke was against them. There are a lot of merchants that I've talked to that are, that are pro parking meters because they understand the turnover and they will get more people in their places of business. So yes, we heard from a group of people today, but not all. Why did you vote against? Because I listened to the business owners and I listened to the residents. Vice Mayor Shelley Freeland Eddy says meters didn't work in 2011 and they won't work this time. She says the city is pushing people out of downtown with three recent issues. Construction, homelessness, parking, shop someplace else. And the head of the Downtown Merchants Association didn't rule out filing suit to block meters. As a group, do we need to go ahead and hire counsel and do an injunction against this to try and stop it? Or can we postpone this and then and really talk about it and see if it's really what we want to do in our downtown area? But nothing was postponed, and the city is now taking the next step toward bringing in different vendors to show off their respective parking meters. I, hopefully, everybody will uh, support our, our next step, which is just a look at the equipment and make further decisions from there. Well, the city will check out various parking meters in a matter of weeks, Haley. So, Ray, why does the city think that the parking meters will go over better this time? Because, as we remember, residents and business owners were really not happy about it four years ago, and they complained enough that city commissioners pulled them out in less than a year. Yeah, the city thinks they chose the wrong style meters. Hard to see in the sunshine. This time they plan to have passers-by do many focus groups before they choose particular style. That'll be a matter of weeks, they say. All right. Thank you, Ray. In Manatee County, the school board approving a nearly $700 million budget for 2016-2017. It's an increase of about $20 million from last year's spending plan, partly based on rising enrollment because of the students, more students in the district, the more money that the state provides. This also marks the third consecutive year that the district has had a balanced budget. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office will be receiving 350 new ballistic vests designed for active shooter situations. The vests will arrive sometime in the next month and a half. The $135,000 purchase was made possible by Clerk of Court Karen Rushing, who after a meeting approached Sheriff Tom Knight with extra money from her 2015-2016 budget. It's a hardened steel front and back um, plate, and it's made and designed particularly to, um, to stop uh, long guns, for rifle rounds in particular. The sheriff needed the money, and it was important to me uh, to be able to help the law enforcement people that serve our community and protect our quality of life. Several local, local agencies are stepping up their defense following the ambushes on police in Dallas and Baton Rouge. Bra Bradenton police have a new rifle-grade ballistic shield on the way. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office already purchased similar vests for its deputies. And Sarasota PD, they have made additions to safety, though haven't specified exactly how. Four days after Hurricane Hermine made landfall, thousands in Florida remain without power, especially in Tallahassee. Statewide, electricity has been restored for the most part, but there's been some disagreement between Governor Rick Scott and Tallahassee city leaders about the storm cleanup. Scott says more utility and tree removal crews are needed to help restore power, while local officials say too much help could actually slow recovery. They're not just communicating, but they're all on the line, they're up on the pole, they're doing the work, 
and it becomes, it's just more manpower that you can actually utilize. Tallahassee's mayor told residents today that the response could have been better, but significant damage to large trees and major power lines means the recovery process will take some time. He urged them to not lose faith in the process. Sarasota County health officials have listed the no lifted the no swim advisory at North Lido Beach. They say new testing samples show that the water quality is safe and does meet state standards. The no swim advisory for Siesta Beach and the Venice Fishing Pier was lifted yesterday. And now we're going to head over to Bob and get a check on our forecast. Well, a pretty good day uh, for uh, going to the beach today. Uh, lots of sunshine out there. Not many storms around at all. And that's the result of some dry air that's moved in. And although the temperature is still very warm at 82 degrees, the dew point is what's nice. It's at 68 degrees. And that'll make for a really nice start on Wednesday morning. Winds are out of the east now at 9. The pressure way up there, 30, 15. And that continues to rise. You can see that drier air just continuing to pump in from a high pressure over the southeast right across the peninsula. That really shows shut down our normal afternoon thunderstorms and looks like uh, it'll stick around again tomorrow. So not as many storms uh, that you would normally see, but we'll still see a few scattered about in the late afternoon and evening. That uh, coverage will be rather light, I think, as a result of that drier air that will be in place. South County will get a little bit better chances for that rain. So the remainder of the evening temperatures are dropping as we saw into the low 80s. The satellite imagery is uh, showing a lot of moisture down to our south. Well, much more in our forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Haley. Thank you, Bob. The stalemate in Congress over federal Zika funding continued today after lawmakers returned to Washington following a seven-week recess. For the third time, a $1.1 billion funding bill failed in the Senate. The two U.S. senators representing Florida, Marco Rubio and Bill Nelson, both expressed frustration tonight over that vote. But their frustration is aimed in different directions. Democrats are crying foul, saying Republicans doomed the bill by adding provisions like blocking funding for Planned Parenthood and stripping a ban on Confederate flags in military cemeteries. The display of the Confederate flag. There are some people that want the display in certain areas. What does that have to do with Zika? Rubio, meanwhile, releasing a statement blaming Democrats for blocking efforts for getting needed resources to health officials. He says anyone who thinks that this is a political game should take it elsewhere. Prior to the summer break, both the Senate and House did approve funding, but the amounts varied, and both were short of the $1.9 billion President Obama had requested. At this point, lawmakers are now considering adding Zika funding into a short-term general spending bill. The latest national poll has the presidential race tightening. Hillary Clinton seeing her lead vanish with 62 days until the election. Both Clinton and Donald Trump rallying voters in key battleground states today, including the Democratic nominee making a stop at USF in Tampa. ABC's Karen Travers has the latest. It's the final sprint to election day. Donald Trump on the trail in North Carolina. And in 62 days, we're going to win this state and we're going to win back the White House. Hillary Clinton campaigning in the always critical state of Florida. Donald Trump is totally unfit and unqualified to be our president. Earlier today, before an audience of veterans, Trump blasted Clinton on foreign policy. Putin looks at Hillary Clinton and he smiles. Boy, would he like to see her. But the Clinton campaign out with a preemptive strike. This new ad titled Sacrifice. I know more about ISIS than the generals do. I think I made a lot of sacrifices, built great structures. And less than three weeks until a potentially game-changing moment, the first presidential debate. Trump telling ABC's David Muir he's prepping, but... Maybe not in the traditional way. Uh, when I had the debates, I had 11 debates with the, as you know, in the primaries. And I was very satisfied. And Clinton? I am certainly focused because, uh, you know, Mr. Donald Trump announces he won every debate in the Republican primary. I take that very seriously. A new national poll from CNN shows the race a dead heat. Hillary Clinton is ahead in many of the key battleground states that will decide this election. But if the national polls tighten, those state polls could tighten too. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.
Thank you, Karen. And the campaigning in Florida is far from over. Even for this week, Donald Trump plans to hold a rally in Pensacola on Friday night. And tomorrow, former President Bill Clinton is expected to make a stop in Orlando. Straight ahead, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with the official Suncoast forecast. Plus a milestone in the recovery of victims of the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting just happened this evening. And a settlement between Fox, Roger Ailes, and former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson, who sued over sexual harassment claims. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. Hello America, I'm John Crowe. It's Tuesday, September 6th, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $101 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold Mega Ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is 37. That's followed by 69. Up next, we have 58. Your next number is 75. And your final white ball for this Tuesday evening is 25. Now for the Mega Ball. Tonight's Mega Ball number is 8. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 37, 69, 58, 75, 25, and the gold Mega Ball is 8. Now, if no one matches all six numbers, Friday's jackpot could be $111 million. Good luck and play on, America. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Ford, Florida home. By Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window, we manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Call now. Thank you, thank you. My fellow Americans, as your candidate for president, I will make wing affordable with Spectralite Diamonds. Spectralite Diamonds are manufactured in laboratory conditions to equal the finest natural diamonds. This political message was brought to you by Created Gems and the Bling Party. Big bling for little change for you. Temperatures are rising and the deals are hotter than ever during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Get the all new Chrysler Pacifica for just $26,999 and get an additional $1,000 off with a trade in. Hurry, time is running out to get the new Dodge Journey for just $15,999. And right now, get up to $10,000 off a new Ram Crew Cab. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. ABC7's official Suncoast Hurricane Guide arms you with vital information you need to protect your family and property when severe weather threatens the Suncoast, including how to create your readiness plan and survival kit. Download yours today at mysuncoast.com. The all-new mysuncoast.com. Just another way, we're here for you. Well, Bob, we hope you enjoyed your long Labor Day weekend. Yeah, it took a few days off. You absolutely. deserved it after yeah. all the Hermine coverage. And, 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 yeah, yeah, things are looking a lot better now. Yes, they are. Than they were last week, and that's a good sign. You know, we are in the peak of hurricane season. There's not a lot going on, which is good. Good news. Uh, we are watching a system way out there in the Atlantic. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Should not be a big factor tonight. 
A beautiful sunset here with Tower Cam. You can see a few showers racing off toward the Gulf, never having a chance to really build and become big storms like we saw yesterday in Northport and Port Charlotte, which produced up to five inches of rain yesterday. But today, uh, just a scattering of showers across the Sun Coast. As you can see, the sunset tonight, Siesta Key, Fred Seeger getting this one with those clouds off in the distance. See a few showers there as the sun was setting. And some crepuscular rays by Marcia Owens, Coopers Creek by uh, the, again, University and I-75 right around there. So a beautiful shot there. Those clouds actually casting a shadow on the sky there, causing that nice shot that you see right there. Uh, Titan radar picture. Review showing the showers are moving offshore now and continuing to do so. There's some showers along the east coast, but really the atmosphere pretty dry for this time of year, and that's pretty good news, too, for a start. Tomorrow morning it should be rather comfortable out there with a bit of a breeze coming out of the northeast. And uh, right now the radar picture not showing anything over land. A few showers are winding down offshore, and that should be the case. I mentioned the rainfall. Very light today across parts of Charlotte County and South Sarasota County. And there's a few sprinkles up in Bradenton and uh, near Longboat Key, but not a lot. Uh, flood warnings are still out along the Peace River throughout all of Hardy and DeSoto counties. Uh, right along that Peace River, the, the uh, river is running about a foot above average right now or above flood stage and also at the uh, Mayaka State Park, the Mayaka River also above flood stage at this point uh, from the recent rains, the record amount of rainfall that we saw uh, last Wednesday for, uh, for certain. 82 degrees right now. We still have some residual clouds around, but the dew point is what's so nice out there. It's 68 degrees and the humidity at 62 percent. We have an east wind at 9. The pressure way up there, 3015, and that continues to rise. The high today was above average because of that easterly wind and no real uh, sea breeze kicking in. The low this morning was one degree above average. No rain Fall the report today. So far for the month, 2.66 inches of rain, and again, uh, 63 hundredths of an inch above average as a result of uh, what was left of Hermine that brought that rainfall uh, this weekend. 70 degrees in Jacksonville, 77 in Orlando, 78 now in Miami. Still warm though in Sarasota. The Sarasota Brady Airport checking in at 82 degrees. Uh, temperatures into the upper 670s, I should say 73 at Lake Placid and uh, 78 in Punta Gorda. The Gulf water temperature has cooled now to a nice uh, 83 degrees there, so that looks pretty nice. As far as the satellite and radar imagery goes, you can see uh, there's been some showers down to our south into the Keys, the Florida Straits, and along the East Coast. But uh, for us, not much rainfall here, and there's a couple of reasons. One is the real dry air that's moved in. On top of that, stronger east and northeasterly wind, never allowing the sea breeze to develop. Well, we were watching this area a couple of days ago. had a 30% chance of developing, but the wind shear, the shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere, just ripping it apart. So the Hurricane Center not uh, too concerned about it. We'll see a little piece of energy, though, travel to the northwest. Some of this moisture will get entangled into our weather. Looks like uh, beginning this weekend. So a little bit better chance for some storms as we head into the weekend. Well, there's another system brewing. It's way out there in the Atlantic, and it looks like it has a pretty good chance of developing over the next five days at 70%. Even if it were to develop, more than likely it will stay as a, an Atlantic storm out there in the middle of the Atlantic. At least that's the forecast uh, as we see it in the next five days. As far as the next name, Ian and then Julia and Carl. Hopefully we'll be done after Carl, but other storm names that we can uh, possibly see. Lisa, Matthew, and Nicole, and after that, Otto. Now, as far as our dry air is concerned, you can see it just spilling southward now. And that means our rain chances tomorrow will be a little bit below the norm. And we'll see them at about 20 to 30% as the day goes on and the better chance for rain comes on Thursday as a little bit more of this moisture starts to move in our general direction. So we'll keep that in mind uh, for boaters. It looks like this tomorrow winds out of the east to start things off at 15 knots and then uh, later on in the day, 5 to 10 knots out of the east, switching to the north. Seas will be right around 2 feet. And the water temperature now at 83 degrees. Tides up coming, high tide at 354 and a low tide at 1152. Tonight, look for mild conditions. Isolated shower off in the Gulf, a low of 72. Tomorrow, only a few late day storms, a high of 92. The extended forecast is calling for temperatures to stay pretty close to seasonal averages. And our rain chances getting back to more seasonal averages by Friday and continuing into the weekend. Haley? Thank you, Bob. The last patient hospitalized from the Pulse nightclub shooting is back home tonight. The Orlando Regional Medical Center confirmed the patient has been released. The hospital treated 35 patients and completed 76 operations following the massacre. It's the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history. Last month, Orlando Health and Florida Hospital announced both will not be billing the survivors for any out-of-pocket medical expenses.
The three people on board a military-style helicopter were killed today after crashing in Brevard County. Investigators say the privately owned chopper was performing a test flight and witnesses reported seeing it flying low before it went down. There's no word yet on what caused that crash. Bill Cosby was back in court today learning he will go to trial in June of 2017. He will face charges of drugging and sexually assaulting former Temple University employee Andrea Constand at his home in 2004. Prosecutors say they hope to have 13 Cosby accusers testify and use a phone call recorded by Constand's mother. But Cosby's lawyers are trying to keep that evidence out of the case, trying to suppress several days of testimony that the comedian gave in the accuser's lawsuit a decade ago, where he acknowledged giving Constance several pills prior to what he calls consensual sex. The defense claims Cosby is the victim of racial bias and prejudice, saying he's already been tried in the court of public opinion. To accept the assumption of guilty by numbers or guilt by volume is really the same thing as accepting the assumption of guilt before innocence. While Constand will not have to take the stand, the judge did not rule today on whether the other accusers could testify or if prosecutors could use Cosby's deposition or that recorded phone call. 21st Century Fox has reached a $20 million settlement and is apologizing to Gretchen Carlson. The former anchor had sued the now former Fox News CEO and chairman Roger Ailes in July for sexual harassment and retaliation. The company apologizing in a statement saying she was not treated with the respect that she deserved. Ailes resigned from Fox in July and will now pay an unknown portion of that settlement. Ailes has continuously denied the claims made by Carlson. Other women have reportedly made similar accusations. The Rays shake up their coaching staff while the Bucks add a weapon on offense. Details next in sports. Game on, Suncoast. Get scores and highlights from the area's top high school matchups on Football Friday Night, just after the news at 11.15. Sponsored by Gulf Coast Honda. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact-resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits on the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. Come uncork your inner artist at Painting with a Twist. Bring your favorite bottle of wine and appetizers and enjoy an evening out with friends to celebrate any special occasion. It's perfect for a girls' night out, birthday parties, or a fun date night. Painting with a Twist offers two or three hour classes that are instructed by local artists and there is no experience required. We now have two convenient locations in Sarasota and Bradenton. Visit our website to view our calendar and schedule your next party today. It's Lincoln Summer Sales Event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKZ for only $299 per month or a 2016 Lincoln MKX, Lincoln's premium sports utility vehicle for $339 per month. We also have a great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. Drive with the confidence of a six-year, 100,000-mile comprehensive warranty and complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, family owned and operated and winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. 
Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. Now, sports. The Rays took on the Orioles at the Trump tonight, but before we get to the highlights, news from the clubhouse that could have some fans saying it, this is long overdue. Tampa Bay firing hitting coach Derek Shelton today during his seventh season with the team. The Rays came into tonight with an American League worst 243 batting average, though their offense has picked things up following the All-Star break. Rays president of baseball operations Matt Silverman said the team felt it was, quote, time for a new voice. Shelton is being replaced by the organization's minor league hitting coordinator, Chad Matola. On the field, meanwhile, Logan Forsyth led off the bottom half of the first with a nice home run right there. That's his 18th of the season, but the lead did not last long. Chris Davis hits a solo shot of his own to tie the game at one, and it was all Orioles from there. With Baltimore up three to one in the fourth inning and the bases loaded, Manny Machado sends a deep shot to left center field, and it is gone. Jake Odorizzi gives up the grand slam. The O's win 11 to 2. The Rays will look to avoid the sweep tomorrow afternoon. After Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson, the Bucks wide receiving core leaves a little to be desired, at least when it comes to experience. But they upgraded their depth to that position by signing Cecil Shorts, who has 218 receptions and 14 touchdowns in his career. He was recently released by Houston. Before that, he spent four seasons with the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Robert L. Taylor Community Complex in Sarasota is showing off the completion of a one-of-a-kind sports project. The city inviting us to take a tour of the new multi-sport artificial turf field. It has new lighting, fencing, a concession stand, and extra parking, and it looks darn good. The complex plans to host soccer, lacrosse, and football games on this new field. Grand opening celebration is set for next Tuesday. That's a look at sports. We'll have tonight's winning lottery number straight ahead. The official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Get ready, college football fans. When you buy a $5 or more Fantasy Five ticket and enter your team's drawing, you could win great prizes like team merchandise, tickets to your team's games, and other bowl game experiences. You could even win a championship weekend prize pack in Tampa or $10,000 cash. Fantasy Five from the Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hi, I'm Joan London. And if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now, 800-290-0352. 800-290-0352. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, and when you're ready to sell, you'll get more money back. Come fall in love with the longest lasting vehicle in its class, the Subaru Outback. 
or lease a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing right now during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. The official salon of ABC7. tonight a true testament to a mother's love for her children. Yvette Vasquez's role, her role reversal is going viral. The single mom dressed up like a dad so that her son could enjoy his classes. Donuts with oh. dad event. You may see something like this again from Yvette in the future because her two younger sons want her to do the same thing when mm -hmm. it's their turn for donuts with dad. I like that. You got to improvise, right? Innovative. That, because absolutely. kids don't want to feel let down. That's right. So she did a great thing. Way to go, Mom. That's, that's true. <laughs> Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.